from binaryjazz.us. That's our website. You can find it in your computer browser. Or internet browser? Something like that. We're online. Search for us. Head to the Alta Vista search engine and uh, put that in there and see what happens. Uh, yeah, this is a podcast about something different every week. And sometimes uh, spherical meets. Happy to have you along for the ride. Let's do this. Uh, so this episode is episode one, 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 one. I thought you were going to say a million. No. I just thought that, that was pretty notable that, that we're on to episode one, 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 one. The next level will be if we just communicate entirely in binary for an entire episode. That's It'll be never going to happen. Perhaps the quietest episode of binary jazz yet. <laughs> I mean, can we do it in Morse code and just like, no. like long dashes would be zeros and short ones would be ones? Beep, 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 I feel like we might as well do it in an interpreter beep, dance. Beep, beep, beep. Have an audio podcast and expect people to envision the movement, the emotiveness. What is that? Today on Binary Jazz, what is that? <laughs> what is that? The topic today is, what is that? Who else is topic? It's maybe better than my topic? <laughs> no, probably most assuredly not. I guess it depends on what that is. My topic is k Kayfabe, excuse me, kayfabe. K oh, of course. Fabe. It's spelled K-A-Y-F-A-B-E. And I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I did some research on it. We'll see. Kayfab. Kayfabe. Or Kayfabe. Kayfabe. <laughs> Depending on what part of the world you're from. One, uh, one word? One word, yeah. Huh. Oh, well, that's helpful. <laughs> These are the good clarifiers, though, because you never know. Cause, I, don't know. I mean, because if it was K hyphen F A B, it would be obviously Korean fab. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. Is, this is I mean, it still could be, I guess. Uh, but it's not, sadly. It could be, yeah. Uh, I don't know because what Because it is a type of spread you put on so you can make a sandwich out of. Have you had have you had breakfast yet, Gary? I did. I, I had an English muffin and crunchy peanut butter oh. um, about twenty minutes ago. Are you a crunchy peanut butter family? Uh, no, oh. we are we are divided. We are a house divided. <laughs> <laughs> I I I switch it on peanut butter. Um, I, I have nothing against creamy. I like crunchy sometimes. Um, we tend to alternate. We just kind of go back and forth. I. Yeah. I I think I prefer crunchy, but I am in the minority in the house, so we, we get creamy. I, I think in the general population, you are as well. I'd be curious I, I, to know those statistics. Yeah, and I only base a, that on the way it's merchandised at the grocery store, that there are three fronted creamy peanut butters and two fronted crunchy peanut butters of the same brand. Yeah. Could be regional, I mean, though. Having, having worked in grocery, I would say that that checks out. It, but it, I mean, that could be like a Northeast Florida thing or a Florida thing or a Southeast US thing. It could be, it could be regional. Ohio. It could be regional, yes. It's kind Sadly, of interesting it's North Ohio. that it's not more like pulp with like various levels. It's really just an all or nothing thing with peanut Ooh, butter. But it's not because I had extra crunchy today. Yeah, oh, really? that's true. There's, there's crunchy and then there's, and there's extra crunchy. Oh no, I've been, I've been denying myself more crunchiness than I could have been having. 
Actually, well, it could be one of those things that um, maybe Canada has truthfulness in labeling. Maybe. <laughs> They're like, it's sort of crunchy. <laughs> or maybe it's just the peanut butter I'm buying because it's just like, I don't know. It's the well, one that doesn't have powdered sugar listed as the first ingredient. So we typically get we typically get our, our peanut butter from Costco. So the Kirkland brand peanut butter is always just creamy because you know, Costco it's like we have the stuff that you want, but we only have one. This is it. So <laughs> this no this is the thing. From a peanut butter and you roll it out to the back of the car and yeah, right. I kind of like that though because then you don't get the decision fatigue of standing in front of like ten million different toothpastes. And wondering, you know, like, do I really want to lift that? It's a problem. <laughs> Costco. <laughs> actual fatigue, yes. Yeah, actual. 20 pounds of peanut butter seems like a lot, but I don't know, my family eats it, so maybe, yeah, we'll do it. You can put it on everything. It's true. Most things are just an excuse for a vehicle for some sort of delicious spread. Okay, fam. <laughs> okay, fam. <babe. laughs> It sounds, um, it doesn't sound, um, European, no worries. It's, maybe it's Esperanto. Bring it does kind of seem Esperanto-ish. It, it, yeah, I mean, that's legit. <laughs> Esperanto-ish. Because everything Esperantese. is. Esperantese. That's, that would be a, a t-shirt with Esperanto. Esperantese. Our new business. Or maybe Esperanto. flirting in Esperanto? Esperantes. With vocab words. Just like written on them. Right. I hope people are taking the SATs to listen to this show. You know, someone's going to make their first million from one of these gems. And... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it'll be like after the economy collapses and a million is worth about 80 cents. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's accurate. <laughs> first, my Speaking first million, cents. and they hold up a quarter. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of eighty cents, uh, we uh, we launched our tie dye thing. Yes. It's not a it's not a business yet because I haven't actually set up the Etsy page, but we have a name and we have social media, and that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters, as far as I'm concerned. And you have people trying to talk their partners into tie dye accoutrement around the house. <laughs> so I missed this. We don't need to talk, a, talk anyone. A today. thumbnail sketch on what, what this is? Uh, yeah, so we make tie-dye uh, things and we're going to put them online and sell them. That's, fun. That's basically the gist. Um, we've been doing tie-dye for a couple years and whenever we do tie-dye and, and most re the last couple times that we've done tie-dye and then the kids go out and wear the tie-dye, they People are like, oh, did you make that? That's amazing. Can I have some? And then we're like, okay, no. And, and then last year we did a whole bunch of tie-dye and we gave stuff away as gifts uh, because that was a pretty cool thing to do. Like, like it was gifts or gifts? Gifts, gifts, gifts. I was just clarifying that it was a hard G, not a soft J. Soft G, <laughs> what? Gifs. Yeah, they're not gifs. Okay, I'm just clarifying. That's it's all. Never, and it's never GIF anyway, unless you're talking about a peanut butter. Um, get back to this in a second. But I was on a client call the other day, and the client said GIF, and I had to mute my camera because <laughs> I was like raging. Good. Uh, tie dye. As GIF. Uh, so you can you can uh, you can uh, find uh, possible octopus. Uh, online on the social things and uh, that's us and and as soon as I take pictures of our stuff then then we're gonna put them up on Etsy and start selling things and we're we're kind of specifically targeting not clothing um, because clothing is what everybody does and a it's boring B you have to worry about sizes C everyone does it so we can try to like carve out a little niche in the non clothing department um, so we're going to have like bags and tablecloths and, um, and towels and things. Yes. Like pillowcases for chance? Eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bedding is hard. The pillowcases aren't hard. Um, but the bedding that goes with them, yeah. 
it's so big it makes it very it makes it much more challenging to tie yeah that's a really good point actually i didn't think about but, but that. we have done it and we're going to do more of it because we want it for our bed uh and the kids want it for their beds so we will be doing more um the biggest thing that we've done more than once besides bedding has been like large tablecloths and those came out really freaking good um so we're going to do some more of those um and then those can also sort of double as tapestries because they're just big and awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I do, I would like to do, I would like to do bedding, including uh, pillowcases and such, but, but it might be a while before we get to that. Mm -hmm. We need to figure out like a place to like, uh, like let it sit, you know, cause it's, As like, we said, yeah. yeah. And when the weather's not good, then it's just like, where do you go? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really sort of a, a fair weather uh, sport. Um, my, my neighbor set up a circus tent looking deal outside their back porch. Maybe you need a circus tent. A circus tent would work, yes. Or like a, a sunroom attachment sort of thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you just need to add a, a whole enclosure to whole your house. A whole other section to the house just for no the tie dyeing. Oh, I love home improvement. If you could go roll anything like that, I'd love to come out and help, you know, work for a few days. Again, I'd watch that home improvement show. Oh, wow. <laughs> Binary Jazz, the home improvement show. Oh, my goodness. I would just sit on the floor and enjoy. Today's topic is tearing down a wall. <laughs> not And not pretend to know anything about anything. I would just watch and enjoy. I know a lot about um, home improvement because I forced myself to learn it. Like, yeah. like the motor in the air conditioner is not working anymore. Is that a thing I can replace? Turns out if you take off enough screws, you can buy a motor to put in there and replace everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to begin as far as, I mean, like, I love taking things apart. That's great. It's just all fun and games. <laughs> every yeah, time I get that, like into my head in home improvement, I tell myself, I work with PHP every day. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> it's, 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 the, this fine it's the this is fine comic with the fire in the room. This is fine. This I is, work with PHP yeah, every day. Extra screws are just warnings, right? They're not fatal errors. They just hit the log file. Who cares? Like, it's not going to fatal. It's just extra. I like to think of them as like rhythm within the beat that I'm already creating. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, the, the air conditioner stop, stopping working actually did happen to us recently. And, and the way that I fixed it was called the air conditioning guy. There you go. And yeah. then it was the other one that, that I've had break on me twice now, and I should have learned my lesson, is that outside ants will get in the relay that turns on and off the outside unit. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've had an air conditioning guy replace that twice. So I need to find that part and buy it on Amazon. So I have it here. Next time ants get in it, I can do it myself. What I'm not clear on is um, how to make sure that it's not like electrified when I'm fussing about in there. So, but I have a multimeter. That is so, an I mean, important I'll, detail. I'll, I'll get there. And if it comes down to it, I'll just kill like the whole house while I work on it. There was a, there was a, that was an interesting pause that you chose to take there. I'll just kill the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just kill the guy that's putzing about in there. I was installing a microwave at my sister's house. Or, no, at somebody's house. And uh, with my dad. <laughs> Stranger. And, uh, and, and well, it, it was like over the, over the stovetop. I'm like, are you sure this, this line is dead? He's like, yeah. And I reached up there and grabbed it, and it was not. And I felt <laughs> it at my elbow and cursed oh. quite a bit at him. I mean... This is, and this is why I don't do anything electrical. Yeah, I tend to stay away from electrical stuff. So like household type electrical, 110, 15 amp, it's fine. It's going to hurt, but it's not going to kill you. Like anything bigger than that, like, yeah, I'll, I'll get someone else in there. I, I, do when I, enough stuff, room, I do enough stuff on a daily basis of like, it doesn't hurt, but it's not going to kill me. I don't need to like voluntarily do it. <laughs> when I built Charlotte's yep. bedroom. Um, I put in power outlet. Um, I mean, I had to put in the outlets in the walls and rewire the switch so the ceiling fan worked along with the light and all that. And, um, and I did, I'm like, great, I think this is all right. So I put in my multimeter to test it and I put it in the plug and it shorted out. I'm like, what? This is, and I spent like literally a day like tracing 
and drawing and trying to understand like why this was shorting out. Um, and my uncle who um, does like dispatch for power lines um, it was over and he's like, oh, you have your multimeter on the wrong setting. <laughs> so for a day, I was um, tripping the breaker in my house every hour or so convinced that I had fixed the wiring problem that I created that was never a wiring problem to begin with. Well, that, so, means, on, uh, it's, it, that means it's extra fixed. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the multimeter, like the, the probes have like the metals kind of like all gnarly on the end of the probes because it was electrocuted sometimes. Um, so K fed, I think he was a singer, right? It's K fabe. Yeah. I meant. And K fed is Kevin. Betterland. I, I love that you're bringing that to the table because I was like, I'm not going to speak up. I'm going to see if someone else knows. <laughs> In sync? 90 degrees? I don't know. I just know. Boys to men. No. Something not um, I, think, I think married to Britney Spears for a hot second. That could apply to either someone formerly in sync. But not part of, I, I can vouch for the not part of Backstreet Boys or In sync. So, um, well, Brittany, that means he's got to be. <laughs> what does that mean? Is he is <laughs> new kids on the block, right? Is he her baby daddy? Or not her baby daddy, but her baby's daddy? <laughs> her baby's baby daddy? Uh, fabulous. I don't even know who her baby I can't wait for um, Kevin Federline Wikipedia link in the show notes. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. I'll learn something. I will. Yes. Well, that, that's, a, that's a good topic, is neither of us know anything about him other than his name. But yet, and you, and you know that, which that is really interesting. That it's boy like, band, though, right? Sure. Some boy band guy? I just, or no. sometimes or kind of words spider. just have associations, and I can put them together, but usually not. <laughs> you can be involved not. with Britney Spears and not being a boy band, it turns out. I... That's well, shocking. Oh, I'm corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was involved in Britney Spears. I just thought that's why I knew his name. I thought that it was like that same like genre in my head of music in like the early 2000s that I didn't really pay attention to, but existed. But existed was going on behind the scenes. Britney yeah. predates early 2000s. Britney was retro by early 2000s. Are you sure? Like yeah. 98, 99 was her first album, right? Right. And then she was gone and it was done. <laughs> <laughs> and then she OD'd on drugs and then she came back. And then by early 2000s, it was like, wow, Britney's like, it's hmm. so retro. I, I know see. this. I know this because uh, in 2000, 2000. I Can went to England. I went to England on a study abroad program and I went to I went to some clubs and I went to some because so in England um the pubs close at eleven. So what you nor and but but nightclubs stay open until two. So if you want to keep drinking and partying, you go from directly from the pub to the nightclub. So I did this and we would go to some really, really shitty clubs. And uh, they would play Britney Spears, and I'd be like, "Hey, I know this. I can dance to this because this is retro. Like I remember also this from because I'm drunk. Also because I'm very drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, is she doing I, a thing? Like, this is the one thing that I know that they're playing. Yeah. But wait, when did she OD? When was that a thing? Right before she shaved her head, or after she shaved her head? Yeah, right? that would be after early two thousands. Oh, okay. The that was when nobody was listening to her music. Not even, not even the not LGBT even community, and not even kayfabe. <laughs> nobody <laughs> listened to her music, um, and and everything was horrible. And probably she was freaking out about being a mom, which is understandable. A little known fact: I have a gigantic Britney poster that's on a wooden plaque that I found on the street, and it's signed to Tina. <laughs> Uh, and I've kept it for years, and it's in a corner. It. I can't wait for the resolution of this when you meet Tina. Yeah. In <laughs> my oh, head, like, in my head, it's signed to Tina, as in Christina Aguilera. Um, and I've never, oh. I've never hung up the poster. 
And now I've kept it for so long, I just don't really know what to do with it. Mostly because it's on like one of those nice like wooden plaques and it's like pre-breakdown Britney. So I don't know. You should hang it somewhere that posters don't normally go. Like, like the bathroom? Like the washroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's too big for a washroom. Is it? Could you fit it? Um, also, that would um, ruin our current gag of putting framed photos of whoever's visiting our apartment in the washroom. <laughs> I thought you were going to so say, awesome. I thought you were going to say a uh, running gag of, of too many rubber duckies. Oh, that would also be a good thing. Yeah. Have you guys seen the James Beach thing with the rubber ducks? No. Oh. So James Beach is a comedian, uh, and mostly he just pranks people. Um, he has several uh, TED Talks about how he responded to spam emails and the, um, like, okay. the kind of spam emails that are like, you know, I'm a Nigerian prince, and I want to give you a million dollars, and you need to go through these hoops, and eventually, you'll, at the end, you'll get a million dollars after you give me your bank account number. Um, so... There's a bit that he does, and he's done it a couple times, where he's a, he, basically it's, it's, it's called, I believe, James Beach is a Horrible Roommate. And um, he, he the, basically walks through the, the, this uh, interaction with his roommates in which uh, he just got, you know, there's a rubber duck in the bathroom, and then he started doing things with the rubber ducks and got like a partner for the rubber duck and then several rubber ducks and then he would stage like dramatic scenes with the rubber ducks and then there'd be movies uh involving the rubber ducks and um there'd just be like a multitude of rubber ducks. it's all big this all came because everybody in the apartment they, he had several roommates and everybody in the apartment had a like a basket for all their bathroom things and he didn't really have any bathroom things so he just put rubber ducks in it and then the rubber ducks just sort of like multiplied and then just started spreading throughout the As they do. Yeah. And then he would like, and, and so like, here's a, you know, there's a picture of like a whole bunch of rubber ducks, like emerging from the, 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 uh, the drain in the bathtub, like hundreds of rubber ducks in the bathtub and sort of like overflowing the bathtub and walking out of the bathroom. And, and then eventually he just filled like the entire room with rubber ducks. And then he'd got a text like James stop with the rubber ducks. <laughs> He's like, what rubber ducks? <laughs> Seriously, no more rubber ducks. And so he says, well, maybe one rubber duck? Fine, one rubber duck. So obviously, when you say one rubber duck, he gets the biggest rubber duck you can find, and it fills the entire bathroom, and you cannot go into the bathroom because the rubber duck is in there. Um, it's, it's a really good bit. I'm probably not doing it uh, nearly enough justice. I will be in the show notes uh, if you have not. Ugh. But that is the rubber, total, duck. That's the rubber duck. You're a total kayfabe. You're totally <laughs> kayfabing the story. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I kayfabe all my stories. Um, I, I, I'm honestly kayfabe. I, I have nothing. That's why I keep changing the subject. <laughs> no, there's like not even a clue. Yeah, I, not, I even, like that's not even an attempt. I, if it was, if it had to do with Korean, if it was K hyphen anything, I could, I could riff on it. I could be like, yeah, K fabe yeah. is that that genre of Korean soap opera where uh, it's only about uh, high school girls and this uh, collection of boys who they this particular high school girl interacts with and tries to like simultaneously make friends with, but also hates. Agricultural, specifically specific genre, fruit, um, some kind of fertilizer for fruit Fave. that extend, extends the growing season. Are you sure it's not the fruit? Because kayfabe could be the fruit itself. It's an exotic fruit from uh, southeastern Malaysia. So speaking of Asian fruit, um, Rhonda was grocery shopping and saw dragon fruit. I was like, yeah. oh, cool. Um, I love dragon fruit quite a bit of dragon fruit but no one else in my house has so she sliced it up and uh you know there's like the little black bits in there that are different texture it's fun it's, it's an interesting fruit um no one else here was a fan <laughs> so you I ate a lot like, of dragon fruit <laughs> the i mean they're not that, they're not that big. one but yeah i ate most of it Brian took a bite she's like nope don't like that <laughs> which we, was we i think that. 
we did that too uh, recently, mostly because it looks so cool. And like, hey, let's uh, let's try a new fruit, and we tried it, and we're like, yep, yeah, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm cool with that, like because the kids can see that you know, mom and dad also have foods they that they don't like to eat. So, you yeah. know, whatever. Sometimes it is really like weird and texture based as well. Like some people so much so much of our likes and dislikes in this house, I think, are based around texture. Do you eat grits? Oh, grits. Well, uh, can I have grits most of the time? Probably. Yeah. Grits are, it's, it's like, what, cornmeal, I think? It kind of depends on where they're being cooked, I guess. And then and how much fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, where, what's the source of my grits? <laughs> mm. Grits aren't a thing outside the South, so it's not even like, like if we wanted to make grits, we could probably make grits ourselves, but it's not like you go to a place and like, oh yeah, grits is on the menu. It's not. Yeah, I know. I know. I, um, when we grocery shop like next to oatmeal, instant oatmeal and like, you know, quick oatmeal, our, our grits like equally as merchandised. Quick. Grits are pretty popular around here. And I'm a sucker but for, I, as I, I, for grits. I learned, I learned from my cousin Vinny that instant grits is horrible. Please I learned to have an opinion about, about instant grits from my cousin Vinny. I really want you to have a legitimate cousin Vinny from this story. I do too. No. Um, <laughs> my cousin Vinny entirely uh, refers to Joe Pesci. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's sad because I do have Italian cousins, but none of yeah. them are named Vinny. Ah, uh, that's the secret. Having what? Italian cousins. Oh, kayfabe, oh. right. No. Oh, that is kayfabe. <laughs> um, the, the coincidence of having Italian cousins? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so specific. <laughs> you really have to take for this one. <laughs> You're like, what's that called? Oh, yeah, kayfabe. Oh, right. It comes up in conversation all the time. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> Especially when you're Italian. Yeah. Except my, in that case, it's kefabe. So my opinion on grits, I'm fine with instant grits. I mean, they're not great, but they're better than not having grits. Grit patties are the worst. They're an abomination. Grit patties? patties. So it's like a, it's grits, but then of course mm -hmm. it's like also fried. fried. Mm -hmm. So you get like a patty, a grit patty. Hmm. So that's like- And the, the like concept is that you can prepare a bunch of grits before service and then you can ready them as needed as opposed to grits, which don't have a long life between being made and being served and eaten. So, uh, Sounds good in theory. Yeah, it's not. Like so many, like so many things. Right. What, yeah, what's, the, what's the technical difference between grits and polenta? Is it like the um, size of the, of the corn? Southerners species? can't pronounce polenta. Okay. I don't, I don't know. That makes sense. It, it's, it seems to me that it would be the, um, like the size of the molecules. I was gonna say like I, I'm sorry, I was distracted. I have to back up a little bit. I like that this, this topic is so obscure, like Allison's even getting on, getting into like guessing what it is. Like, <laughs> That's true. Because I like the word and like the meaning is great, but like, I think it could be, I think it could go above and beyond. Mostly also reminds me of que sera sera. So I think mm. I like that. It just reminds me of K-pop. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I can think of too. And yeah. and K anything else that comes after that. Well, why don't I just let you know K what it K is? K-drama. Yeah. Okay. And then we can spend the rest of the episode talking about K-soap operas. <laughs> I get to the get to what you really want to discuss. What's what's holding you back? Um, so, <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's a term used in reference to mostly professional wrestling um, as a reference to like the fourth wall that separates the audience from the action. Um, so like kind of the performance aspect of professional wrestling. So when they, um, when people are like, so it's like suspension of disbelief specifically for pro wrestling. But what, why do they need a special word? Well, <laughs> because they're special snowflakes. Oh, I don't know, because <laughs> like, <laughs> I think like, it, There's already a word for that. It's the fourth wall, so why do you need wall. another word? <laughs> That's what <laughs> is there, I is there a fourth wall? Like, <laughs> Well, I don't know if you watch much wrestling. I don't. It's a little I used to watch lots of wrestling. 
They tend to make up their own words for WWF. many things. What? They tend to make up words for many things. That's true. Um, wrestling is still pretty popular, huh? I think so, yeah. Among it's certain the same power out there. I think, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not nearly what it used to be when I was, you know, a kid. And you could go. I don't know. I mean, there are people I know. Us and, and get your Hulk Hogan little WWF wrestler guy that goes in your big uh, WWF like wrestling ring that you get with the the bungee cords around the tight yeah. rope. Like that's yeah. not a thing anymore. So it's obviously diminished in popularity. There's also no longer a cartoon on Saturday morning about WWF or or professional wrestling. So it's it's okay. it's sunk into a little bit of a decline. Um, but now it's like, I think it's emerging as like, sort of like a, an alternative culture, like counterculture thing, because there's like underground wrestling. Uh, I just know folks that like work like a regular nine to five and, you know, suit and tie and then get all stoked for whatever the thing is on Monday night. People I follow on Twitter that are, you know, I don't know. It just. Well, it's, it's a huge, right. I think it's like, it's a massive entertainment thing. And I think part of that is the kayfabe that they maintain fiercely the performance yeah. aspect of like, well, like you don't want to see like two guys like all angry and feuding and then they like go out to dinner together afterwards or whatever, yeah. <laughs> like shake hands, high five. Um, we, have, we have a countdown and I have um, a surprise segment. A surprise segment. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, why, that's why Allison was the one that was proposing giving the definitions because she wanted to segue into her surprise segment. Gotta get into it. Yeah, gotta get into this. Let's, let's do the surprise segment. So the surprise segment, because I don't think we had any, I think they were all Allison submitted questions anyway. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> so it's a surprise segment that's not a surprise. Um, it's a little quiz game that you will choose whether it is the name of a nail polish or the name of a Star Trek episode from the original series. Nail polish or Star Trek. Okay, this go. This is brilliant. <laughs> so excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, I'm not tallying scores because nobody got time for that. <laughs> so keep track. Even, even better. Can we tally the scores at the end after the show and like put it in the show notes perhaps? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so Nomad's Dream. Uh, Star Trek. Nail polish. Nail polish. Damn. <laughs> Obsession. Definitely nail. Wait. <laughs> Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Star Trek, correct. <laughs> meet, me, <laughs> meet me on the Star Ferry. Nail Ferry polish. spelled F E R R Y. Wait, F A E or F E E? F E R R Y. So, like a ferry? Like a ship. Uh, uh oh, Star man. Trek. Yeah, it's Trek. Nail polish. Damn. <laughs> Dangerous. Do you have, do you have, do you See, if it was if it was Star Fairy to these colors, because um, <laughs> well, a Star Fairy F A F A I R. I guess. I guess. I guess. Away, I guess. Yeah. I guess if it was Fairy and meet me on the Star Fairy, be a little bit uh, <laughs> NC seventeen for a nail polish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's merely suggested. Anyway, <laughs> this segment is fantastic. I need links to these colors. <laughs> Keep going. Um, let's see, what was it? Oh, Dangerous Liaison. Trek. I want it to be a nail polish. I, I do too, but if I... It's a nail polish. Damn. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> this one's, yeah. What are little girls made of? Nail polish. Oh, Star Trek. Star Trek, correct. <laughs> Pretty much if Chris guesses it, it's going to be wrong. It was a different time. Um, <laughs> in my back pocket. Nail polish? Mm. Yeah, nail polish. Nail polish, correct. Yay. Tomorrow is yesterday. Nail polish. Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> uh, black onyx. Black onyx. Mm -hmm. Like O N Y X. Onyx. Onyx. Black onyx. Black onyx is nail polish. 
Uh, it is. Nail polish. Nail polish. Because Onyx is black. <laughs> I, I mean, I could see a Star Trek episode of that. It, yeah, yeah, that's true. The Man Trap. That is a Star Trek episode. I, I know that Star Trek episode, I think. Nail Scary. polish. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> Um, isn't that the but, one? Isn't that the one where I don't know? I'll I'll, I'll figure it out in the show notes. <laughs> it, yeah. Uh, the naked time. The naked time. That's a, yeah, that's that a, definitely sounds like it should be a polish. Star Trek episode, but I don't think that it is. <laughs> I think it's a nail polish. You said the original series, right? Not. Yeah, I, I mean that's definitely a Kirk episode. <laughs> naked time. <laughs> Kirk goes down to the planet, hooks up with a alien chick. Comes back missing some clothing. You're talking me into this. <laughs> yeah, it's, That's it's, like every episode of Star Trek ever. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. <laughs> Gary, what, are you weighing in? Oh, it's nail polish. Yeah, nail polish. It is a Star Trek episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not. <laughs> the, I, I haven't watched the original series. I didn't. I couldn't get into it. I, I oh. specifically made sure th that you wouldn't have. <laughs> Because I know you just went through. Next generation. <laughs> um, and, and so, yeah. Let's see. Uh, what wizardry is this? Trek. No polish. Star Trek. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Eternal. Nice turn. <laughs> Eternal flame. Eternal flame. That's a nail polish. That is a nail polish. That is a nail polish. <laughs> I love when you guys get real confident that it's a nail polish. <laughs> You're like, clearly, clearly nail polish. Like, yeah, nail polish. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not like completely a noob to nail polish. I have worn nail polish. Just everything was black probably. So, yeah. <laughs> were there different like names for the black nail polish you wore? Or were they all just black? Uh, the stuff that I got typically was just black. Because mm. it was like the black, you, you couldn't get more than one it was like yeah. whatever nowadays you back when i was a kid back when, when my day there one black black one green and that was it <laughs> there were a, a, a few different blues though oh. i had a nice well, i had a nice cute. sparkly blue yeah i think i had the same sparkly blue <laughs> i can remember it so clearly mm -hmm. In uh, fact, I, I think I probably had this, that sparkly blue up until about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron saw it in the back of the, of the, back of the, the cabinet and was like, no, this is going in the trash. This is 20 years old. Yeah. It is long. It has like solidified entirely? I don't think so, but I don't know that I opened it. <laughs> Spontaneously combusted. You didn't even need to throw it away. <laughs> like a little like duff and there's just like ash. Yeah. yeah, you touch it and then it just crumbles. Seems appropriate though for that kind of nail polish. <laughs> Back to the dust. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, this is a successful segment. I think we should do this segment more often. I have a, a one on the ready that's a slightly different subject matter, but same idea. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So submit your questions to binaryjazz.us or don't or at actually. binary jazz or alternately just don't. <laughs> Yeah. We will come up with something. <laughs> we'll come up with something regardless. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is like an awesome, like, early 2000s website. Like, it loads and you have to, like, pick, you know? Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Don't let BuzzFeed get a hold of this. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. <laughs> I mean, I think you should. Yeah, you should but. anyway. It's all Allison's idea. Star, Star Trek or nail polish. Star Trek or show. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.